Welcome, guys, to Advocates of Justice for Closure Defense Paralegal School. We are different and we prove it. I'm Coach Neighbors, and today we're going to give you guys a date on our latest win. Yep, a real win. Usually what happens when people are using my documents in foreclosure defense or third party debt collections, whatever, the attorneys go and sit down. So they're not trying to have it on the record, but we got this win on the record here a few weeks ago and the judge actually dismissed the case right after we filed our $20.5 million lawsuit in state court. Actually, we filed it as a counterclaim in their case so you so we wouldn't have to uh, an additional filing fee we found out later that that uh, counterclaim that we filed ended the case but they didn't send us any documentation to say the case was over the attorney kept filing so we kept filing too but then we figured it out today we're going to update you on the new win gonna, uh, we're also going to cover what we're going to talk about in our live stream on 3 6 of 2021 a couple of days on saturday the live stream is going to start after nine, I'm also going to talk a minute about the new package that I'm instructing to use in the state court. The lawsuit that you get when you invest in the $75 package that I have on sale right now, that's the lawsuit that we use to get the judge to dismiss the case. And in that package of $75, you're just getting a lawsuit. And I think one other document in there, it's just the bare bones of what we used. And I'm offering this to people who have been fighting their case and can take this document and use it without having all the other stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you're about to get pushed off the cliff, then you're gonna need this. Now, with that said, when I structure the, the lawsuit package that we're gonna use in state court, this document will no longer be offered for $75. It'll be removed because this document is gonna be included in the new state court lawsuit package that we're gonna to put together. Now in that package, I'm going to, I'm going, it's going to be a blueprint of everything that we used uh, in the, in the state court to get the judge to dismiss the state court case. Well, not everything, some stuff we didn't need. We're going to figure out what we needed and what we didn't need. And I'm going to build a package based off of what I use to achieve this goal. And then that package is probably going to be listed for, uh, for $4.99 like the other packages, or maybe I'll put it on sale or something. We'll see how that goes. Right now, I need to I need to get it put together. Update on our win. We got a letter in the mail the other day, a ridiculous letter from the uh, that the attorney sent the judge, and just crying in the letter about how the judge had made a ruling uh, against us and um, and that we were filing said we were filing scandalous documents and and just and he wanted to uh, to have the court sanction us a thousand dollars for each document that we filed in the case and the case has been over for like four weeks maybe five weeks i'm not sure what the attorney's doing but we're going to showcase his ridiculous letter in our live stream um, on saturday so don't miss that we're also going to talk about the email that the clerk sent us uh, confirming that the case had been disposed of which is verifying our win and um, i'm going to show you that right now i have it pulled up you can see here this is the email that we got sister got from the clerk and i left the clerk's name in there because i don't care <laughs> i can do that and you can see here she mentions that the case was disposed of on the 24th and it wasn't the the uh the judgment order wasn't filed until the 25th or the 26th or something. This confirmation that the case is now, they haven't sent us the judge's order or a copy of anything verifying that the case was dismissed. We actually saw it on the docket sheet. So you guys need to make sure you're checking the docket sheet, especially after you back them in the corner. You need to keep an eye on that docket sheet because they have another attorney sneak in and try to continue the, the program without letting you know that the case has been started again so they can hurry up and get a judgment. That's what we're seeing. So you keep a close eye on that docket sheet. I would check that sucker every week. Yep, I would check that sucker every week to make sure that you're keeping up on it. So if somebody else signs on, you can, some other parasite signs on, you can jump on their butt too. I'm also going to share with you guys, while, while I got the screen share open, our new product on Sam's cart. This is our new, 
judicial wrongful foreclosure package. Remember, I had the non-judicial package posted. I just finished this judicial package. I got it, I got a few touch-up things to do here, but and a little bit to add. But there's not a lot of difference between the judicial and the non-judicial. In the judicial, there's a little bit of a difference in how it. Uh, in a judicial, it starts with a petition, and then you have 21 days to respond and all of that. In non-judicial, it starts with the notice of default letter, and then they try to sell your house before you even get in 30 days before you can even figure out your plan. Okay, that's how that goes. So when you get your lawsuit filed. As soon as you get that thing saying that they're going to sell your house in 30 days and a non-judicial, that's the beginning of the foreclosure process. It don't start later on when you're in eviction court. Okay, it starts right then when you get that notice of default letter saying you're behind and you owe a whole bunch of money plus a bunch of extra money for the attorney fees and all this other money for stuff. That's the steal your hope money that they're tacking on to make you think you don't have a chance. You can see here, we put this together and it's similar to the other page, but the information is a little bit different. And then here's, um, this is the, this is the instructional video. So you can click on it and it'll tell you how to use the documents and the strategies and everything. And my suggestion is to take notes and write it down the steps that you're going to have to be going through because you're going to have to be doing these things, you know, in a pretty, you know, in a pretty quick succession in order to make this work for you. you can't file a jurisdictional affidavit in state court and leave it sit there for the judge to rule on you got to file that stuff you get your lawsuit filed in federal court and then move that stuff over to federal court you got to do all that stuff to you know but once we get the state package done then you want to do all that stuff you can just file all the stuff in state court and make the judge do what we did so we scroll on down here and you can see it's, oh, um, this is the new bomber that we used on, on this, on this package. Yeah. Is that badass or what? And these are some of my Google reviews. Now these aren't the latest ones, but if you want to see the latest one, just go to my Google review page. I got one bad review from someone that was pissed off out of the Facebook page our Facebook study group, he got pissed off at me because he came into the group saying a bunch of shit about how he was getting his ass kicked and the judge and blah, 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 blah. And he wasn't doing everything the way he was supposed to be doing it in the first place. And when he started talking that bad self-talk, my question to him was, are you ready to give up and go sit on the bench? Seemed like a fair question that a coach would ask somebody, okay? Because where I grew up at, uh, you did not let the coach hear you talking crap like that, okay? Because if the coach thinks that you're already getting your ass kicked, he's going to leave your ass sitting on the bench, okay? You got to see yourself making them free throws and getting this shit done. You can't be up here saying, oh, my God, I'm going on, you know, no. Because at the end of the day, it ain't about going before the judge and waiting for the judge to rule on your stuff. At the end of the day, it's about building your record on the, uh, your court record showing that the judge has been violating your rights and took control without jurisdiction. That's the only thing we want to talk about, jurisdiction. We don't want to talk about the servicer and all that, 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 that crap. Only want to talk about the jurisdiction because that's the only thing that's going to help you. If you start talking about the servicer and all that other stuff, then you're done. You might as well just go home and start packing your shit. I'm just saying, okay? So you guys can go to my Google review page if you want to and check out my uh, Google reviews. And this is the stuff you're going to get free. The jurisdictional challenge with an affidavit. We're going to throw that in free just like we did in the non-judicial package. The goal is to create one package with everything that you need to punch them in the face with. And then we also included the manager judge reconsideration package in this. So if the, when, the, when the manager judge jumps in, you can, file your, you can file your objection and your notice for reconsideration. And then you can file your motion to recuse the judge for helping the attorneys. And then you can file your notice of claim against the judge or the other lawsuit that you got for $75 because I know you're going to make the investment in that $75 deal. We have confirmation that the case was disposed of and my sister's pretty happy. And so am I, because now I can take a break from this.
<laughs> Structuring the new uh, wrongful foreclosure defense lawsuit package for state court that were, will contain the blueprint that we use to make the judge sit the hell down and get out of our face in this case. And once that package is complete, the $75 deal will be off the table. So you guys better get it. And I'm hoping to have this package complete. What is today? Next week. Sometime next week. Maybe over the weekend. I don't know. I got a little free time on my plate now. We got one other person that's in state court and filed, she filed, that's Shamel Maxwell filed her motion for a change of venue. And boy, that messed them up. They was putting that off, complaining about the T's didn't have a cross and the dot wasn't over the I and everything. But they finally, they finally filed it. And I think they filed it because we sent another sanction motion against the, um, against the supervisor, the clerk supervisor. Yeah, because they actually filed the lawsuit against Shamel's uh, dad's property without an affidavit. So there's no affidavit, then the court don't have jurisdiction to do anything. Hmm. That's the problem. And this sanction motion is for $20.5 million also. Most people ask stupid shit for sanctions, but for sanctions, you can ask whatever you want. Our live stream Saturday, we're going, I'm going to show you the letter that, uh, that, the, that the attorney wrote to the judge. Um, after the case was disposed of, we're going to review the judicial offer that I have on Sam's card that I just showed you. I'm going to show that to everybody again and give you guys a chance to get that on a deal. Also. We're going to review how to state a claim for relief. And we're going to talk about what we're going to put on sale for the weekend. That's what we're going to be talking about. And that's about all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys in a couple of days on Friday. It's time to kick some attorney butt. <laughs>